On today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Kid Robot Smorkin Series 4. The Smorkin Series 4 Labbit. Comes from, from Kid Robot and Kozik. The very small box. I don't have large hands, mind you, but based on my hands that you guys have seen on a regular basis, you can kind of gauge how small this box is. As always, it's a smoking rabbit. Ironically so, I just actually did a review of the uh, of the crusty uh, labbit. Coincidentally, as soon as I, I lose, I uploaded that review and then I found this at my local comic book store. On the front, we've got the Labbit smoking. It's an awfully big cigar for such a small rabbit. There's the front of them. There's the, um, <clears throat> there's the back of them. You can go to www.kidrobot.com for more information and other delightful items made by Kid Robot. And also, there's the Smorkin Labbit. I honestly don't remember how much... Uh, oh, it's also crucial information. It's designed with love. Love is very... Love is all you need. Love is all you need. Um, what am I going to do, though? I'm going to get this opened up. There is a little sticker there. I can make short work of that, I'm sure, by using my friend Hank. I had to use Hank. I like to color match, so even, like, reviews... You know, you got blue box, why not use the blue knife? Just cut that little label like that, just like that. Wow, you seem really relaxed this time around. Yeah, sometimes you have a hard day. Sometimes you just, uh, you see, I just got a message from another laid back individual. Sometimes you just kind of, you know, kind of just want to relax. Sometimes you just want to cut labels with a knife. It's a good lesson to be learned. I'm going to open this up. I don't even know if this is a... Well, it's Series 4. I assume there's different versions of this Labbit. And pull it out. Nothing inside the box, but we're going to put the box right there nonetheless. And we got ourselves a little foil bag, as we normally do with Kid Robot. Can't even make out what's inside. Could be a piece of cheese for all I know. I'll cut this open. Once again with Hank. Good folks at Exacto. I really should. I uh, really should get some compensation for my advertising of them. Inside. Oh, hey, look at this. We got. Uh, I guess a camouflage. Oh, okay. We got a little pamphlet. Let's see what's going on in here. Read up further on what's going on. Of the ones you can get, there is a red one, a blue one, purple, a little heart. Ooh, got kind of an evil one with white eyes. Looks like he's kind of sticking out a tongue. There's one blowing a bubble. That one's neat, the little prisoner one. This one looks like an airplane. Oh, that one's... Oh, that rabbit's seen better days. I got this guy right here, though. Not too bad. Anyone's on the back? Nothing on the back. There you go. Assortment rate is 50-50. I like those odds. Let's zoom into the Labbit, however, that we got. And uh, he is smoking. This one almost looks like uh, he's kind of got like a camouflage, something going on there. Maybe. Got little pebbles or something on him. Could be acne, too. I don't know. Not too bad. Not, not, not too, too bad. I mean, it's not really for everybody, but I mean, if you're into rabbits, it, first of all, if you're into smoking, you're into rabbits, you think to yourself, I don't know, I really wish there was a collectible out there that would cater to my kind of interests, then uh, maybe you might want to pick yourself up a smorking labbit. For everyone else, I don't know, could be a bit of a pass, but he's not a bad looking one. I, it's not my, maybe the one I would have wanted to get, but yeah, he's still pretty cute. As cute as it could be for, you know, a rabbit with a cigarette in his mouth. 
So there you go. Today's collectible spot. We're having a look at the, well, first of all, it's from Kid Robot, but we were looking at the Smorkin Series 4 Labbit. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. Let me know down below what you guys think of these, and I will see you guys next time.